There will no doubt be times when you want to or need to resize a large number of images to the same size. And if you were to use the method that we showed you in our last lesson, it would be very time consuming. And so we, in this tutorial, we want to show you a way that you can automate uh, the process, sizing your images in a batch method. And in Photoshop, we can do that by setting up an action. And if you have never created an action in Photoshop before, this is really something that uh, is worthwhile taking the time to learn how to do. Because not only will it set up a nice little way for you to batch resize images, the same principle can be applied to many different types of uh, repetitive actions in Photoshop and learning this and knowing this can save you a lot of time. Now before we do this, um, I want to show you uh, something I like to do when I'm setting up uh, a number of images for, for batch resizing. What I will do is I will create a folder uh, to receive all of the images that I want to resize and that way as I go through my hard drives and uh, pick out images that I want to include in my uh, batch resize process, I can go through each of my folders, pick out the shots that I want to use, and uh, just holding down my control key, I can select many items at once. And uh, when I have all of the images that I want from one folder, I just need to simply drag and drop those into my pics folder or the folder that I have set up for batch resizing. Now, uh, it's important to know that this ideally should be on a separate hard drive than the hard drive where you're getting your images from. Uh, if you're working on a computer with only one hard drive, what will happen is when you drag and drop an image, it's actually going to move these images out of the folder that you're picking from and move them to your uh, other folder on that same hard drive. And uh, the idea, one of the reasons why we like to do this, set it up this way, is because it will prevent you from potentially resizing or destroying your original images. Now I know that you probably have your images backed up somewhere, but this is just one more uh, precautionary measure that you can take to prevent you from inadvertently uh, resizing your camera images. And uh, so if you're working on a computer with only one hard drive, what you should be doing is uh, doing a copy paste method rather than the drag and drop method and that will leave your original images in your original folders and make copies to your other ones. So, so then the action to take would be to select the images that you want to, to uh, batch resize and right click on it, do a copy and uh, then do a paste. And this way the image will be copied and not moved from your original folder. Okay, and then once you have all of the images selected that you want to resize in a separate folder, on a, uh, then you're ready to go back to Photoshop. Let's close these out. And let's open up one of these images and uh, pick any image. Doesn't really matter which one. Here's one of uh, Central Park, New York City. And uh, once you've got it loaded up t to your computer, we are ready to start the process of making an action. And uh, if your actions palette is not already d being displayed over here in the right hand panels, uh, just go up to window and look for actions and just make sure it's selected or checked. Okay, and once you have your actions palette open, let's, uh, let's actually create a new set of actions. And let's call it resize because in our next tutorial, we're going to make more of these. And with that set highlighted, let's go over to this button here and create a new action. Click on that once and give it a name. And for this lesson, I think what we're going to do is resize all of our images to 1200 pixels in width. So let's give this action the name of 1200 pixels. And uh, then hit the record button. 
And you'll notice down here the little button has turned to red and that indicates that you are now in the record mode. And what is going to happen is Photoshop is going to record every action you take until you hit the stop button. And that's this little square button down here. And the action that we want to take, the action we want to record, is the resize action. So let's do that. Remember the keyboard shortcut, Control alt i And let's change the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. And let's change the width to 1200. Hit the OK button. And now let's uh, go up to File and choose the Save As button. And uh, just for now, let's save this in another folder. It doesn't really uh, matter at this point what you call this or where you save it for that matter. Just hit the save button. And again, we like the uh, quality of nine. So hit OK on that. And then go up and do file close. OK. And with that simple action recorded, we can stop the record process by hitting the little square down here. And that's all it takes to record an action. And now to actually do the batch resizing, we go to File and go down to Automate and choose the Batch option. And uh, if it isn't already showing up, uh, you should navigate to the action that you want to use. Ours is already showing up. Usually it will. It'll show the last action that you just recorded. And then choose the source folder that you want to pull the images from. Just navigate uh, to the hard drive and folder where you have placed all of those images that you want to resize. If there are subfolders that also contain images that you want to include in this batch resize action, well, just check that. Otherwise, you're fine. And then you can choose where you want to uh, send the saved files, your destination folder. So hit the Choose button. And even if you don't already have a folder uh, selected for this destination, you can make a new folder. We'll call it uh, JPEGs Resize 1200. Hit OK. And if you like, you can uh, check that to make them compatible to Mac system and the Unix system. And uh, hit OK. And that now will go through your whole folder that you pointed to and do a batch resize from their current size to a, a screen resolution size of 1200 pixels in width. And when it's complete, uh, you can open up your folder and confirm that uh, everything went where it was supposed to. And here they all are. Check and confirm that they were resized to the size that you wanted. And sure enough, indeed, they are now all 1200 by 800. And uh, so there you have it, uh, how to resize a large number of images to the same file size in Photoshop using an action and a batch process.